though he picked up Pac-Man. Yeah, he's been playing him recently. Uh, his placings obviously <coughs> aren't as good as mine. Uh, you oh know, yeah, you know, flop, flop, flop. I also forget. Uh, uh, one more Pac-Man player, more down south in Miami. He's a UM student. His name is McDaniel's. McDan- oh yeah, people have been telling me that I should play him. Apparently, people have a hard time like beating him in general, and uh, I think it might just be because of his play style. Like a lot of times, people are unfamiliar with the different setups that uh, Pac-Man has. But uh, leaving that and hopping into this match. Uh, it looks like CPU is going to try and get this started with this lead. You know, he's going to try and just keep him back as much as possible. He knows if Terry gets in, he's going to take so much from the quote-unquote jab jack Ooh. power dunk. See, right That's there, here's recovery. First off. Ooh, yeah. he, got, he got that stroll. He got that deep breathing, the, the clean a walk away. Oh, he tried, JoJo trying to taunt again, but uh, uh, it seems like CPU is not going to let him just get anything started. Falling out of the what should be a true combo from down throw up there into up B. Uh, might be DR dependent, but it looks like we're going we're gonna to see here, but I don't know if he can get something started. He needs to get an early stop just like CPU did. Oh, just ducking the grab, looking like a straight two uh, a two D fighting game out here, just ducking neutral grab. But uh, what do you uh, think about this matchup so far? Well, I don't think JoJo has that much of a practice at all. He, we don't really don't have any we fits down here down in uh, Miami, except for one player. I'm not sure if I can say his tag. Wet fetus. <laughs> he kind of he sometimes comes to tournaments, sometimes no. But uh, JoJo's usually toing, so he doesn't really get to practice him. That makes sense. And I'm assuming, like, uh, no disrespect, that he may not have be like on the same caliber, maybe as CPU. Uh, CPU's been playing this character as from what I've seen in Smash Four. From the start of this game, he's been doing extremely well, and actually has been placing really well, even at uh, the big house where I believe he got 33rd. So you know he has what it takes to actually make it and do well. So. But in this matchup, it looks like JoJo is getting something started, but finally taking the first stock. But I don't know if he's going to be able to make it back because JoJo does not seem to you know, have access. But he does have access to go meter. If he can, like, let uh, what is it, a Buster Wolf uh, hit, he might be able to you know, bring this tide back in his favor. He just needs a little bit of uh, damage, like right there. I think he's just a little bit away, 100%. One thing I do want to say about Terry, he kind of activates once he gets go. Yeah. Uh, once he reaches that 100%, you become really fearful of his options. But CPU taking that game one, really convincing me, I think. I think the, the problem there is not that JoJo is having a hard time in neutral. It's the fact that whenever he's off stage, CPU is capitalizing really, really strong. And he's making sure that regardless of how uh, JoJo wants to interact, he's not making it back to stage. And if he is, he's taking quite a lot of damage uh, trying to do so. So I'm actually not really sure where JoJo wants to go for this. Like, where do you take We Fit Trainer? Like, out of everyone in South Florida, I don't think we have really any, like you said, any real, like, We Fit Trainers besides, like, uh, I believe you said, Wet So it doesn't seem like most people are experienced in the matchup. And even those who have played CPU, like myself, like, I'm never always sure where to take uh, We Fit. Normally, I just take a uh, uh, We Fit to a stage I personally feel comfortable on versus what I think the, the matchup calls for. Because you really don't know what is, what does We Fit fall under? Yeah, like is you can say a zoner, but you can also say with uh, when uh, uh, we think it's deep breathing that they can play sort of aggressively like Cloud with Limit where they're essentially racking up all this early damage. And these combos, they seem like ridiculous, like just taking so much without knowing it. You might die from ridiculous early percents. And also the strange hitboxes, I believe, like from that f tilt hitting behind, people are still, you know, slowly like understanding more and more about the character. But we're a year into this game now, so I think most people have started, you know, gain a, a decent understanding of uh, how to fight her. But I do think we're still lacking a little bit in that department. Yeah, because we've had it's kind of that weird character, like you said. Um, her whole body is a hitbox with a lot of her moves. Even though she forward tilts, she does she does have the hitbox behind her. That thing will send you up. True. And, ooh, right there, JoJo getting that nice confirm into that kill. Now, I want him to get a little bit more damage. Like, if he reaches his 100%, he can get another stock, not even for free, but, ooh, CPU going for his notorious setup where he charges a smash against the ball, and the ball extends the hitbox, causing it to last an insane amount of time. Um, he's at 148%, but he doesn't look like he's going to be losing the stock anytime soon. If he can play this carefully, okay, getting a crack shoot. Once oh, he, that power guy's move. If he can get a jab jab power dunk. Yep, speaking of the devil. Now he's at kill percentage. Yep. Now he needs he to land his buster roll. <laughs> he gets this buster roll for like a power geyser not power. out of nowhere, almost mm. taking him right out. Next the power game. geyser kills. You're right. Next there power we go. geyser will take it. We're so. literally seeing the reverse of what happened in game one. Yeah. Like how scary it will be to just die from like these early 
kill confirmed, you have to be very careful playing against this character. You might just get your stock taken at like nothing, especially now that he has go meter. So it looks like, ooh, the soccer ball taking. I think he air dodged when he was near the blast zone, causing him to die a little bit earlier. Now, yep, now Terry just has to get some more percentage, work a little more harder. But if he gets to that go meter again, he can just one shot him True. with Buster Wolf. I like how JoJo's playing. He's playing conservatively, applying pressure, but not forcing too many options. He, he wants to make sure that CPU feels like I have to stay at ledge. But right there, CPU mixing it up, catching him. Two more percent, and there we go. Go meter. Right. If he can do something with it, all right, goes for a grab with. Oh, it's caught by it. What will he do? Tries to extend. No jump. Oh, barely makes it back. Oh, that power geyser on wake up would have been disgusting. Mm -hmm. And power geyser. Three, two, one. Oh, well. oh, no, he tried to throw the Buster Wolf. He tried to read the option forward throw. Doesn't not going to take it, but he doesn't have an option really. Oh, back throw. Doesn't kill no. either. He has to be have deep uh, breathing to kill. Speaking of, oh, barely trading with that up B. I think they kind of just clanked right there, but uh, it catches his jump with it. It's kind of crazy. I don't know if Terry can kill early now without it to go like meter. He might need like a hard confirm, maybe power dunk like closer to the ledge. Either he can... Ooh, dash attack. Oh, no. He Slightly. needs to get a power dunk or a burning knuckle to win right here. I think he has a down tilt into a burning knuckle. Fourth, though, doesn't kill. Don't go off stage. Terry doesn't really have a kill throw, in my opinion. Yeah. It's usually on uh, like insane percents that would work for anybody else, but that dash attack will take it out. And the, the slight shuffle with JoJo filling himself there, taking that game two. Uh, looks like we're going to have a game three here. It's going to be pretty tight. You know what I find really funny? You know how like t uh, everybody has like their logo, like Pac-Man has like Pac-Man? Yeah. Why does Terry look like they just went to MS Paint <laughs> and grabbed like the, the star tool and just call no, it a day? Come on, man. Don't do that to Sakurai. Right? He put a lot of time and effort and development team into this game. But I understand what you mean, though. Like, oh, yeah, it literally looks like, 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 like they put in like the almost the least amount of effort. Like, all right, uh, what are we going to do? Take the Mario starts, like turn it around a little bit, angle it on Photoshop. All right, guys, we did it. We got our logo. <laughs> so, yep. Game three, PS. Stamped and goaded. All right, game three here on po Pokemon Stadium. I don't know how I feel about this. I think Wii Fit benefits a lot from this, but I, I just don't know what JoJo would have banned. Once again, like, what do you ban against uh, Wii Fit Trainer? Like, you don't know what stages necessarily, like, work for her. I, I would just assume you would just ban stages you personally feel uncomfortable on. Like, maybe if you're uncomfortable on Lilac with a bad recovery. Um, yeah, but Terry, remember, Terry doesn't really lash on to stage, uh, to the ledge at all. Mm -hmm. That's why Pichu can destroy Terry unless he has his charge up B. Yeah, which has invulnerability. But the problem I've been seeing, a lot of people have shown, you can actually catch him out of that regardless of the invuln. So he has to be a little bit careful. Don't know if CPU can take advantage of that, but he's still up the stock. So uh, what is Joseph going to do? Oh, that, CPU that, going for that down. I respect it, but it, it's one of those situations where he didn't have really anything to lose in that scenario. And if it had worked, it would have put him in such an amazing position. That's a weird volleyball. Volleyball is such a weird fucking item. Yeah, I understand, right? It's a weird projectile in the sense that it has, it seems to have like interactions with item properties and also seems to work kind of more as a, a direct combo to it. Like right there, like it's kind of scary, but then if they cancel it, they can use it in that scenario just to extend any attack they want. That uh, extended with up smash is also extremely vicious and hurts and kills extremely early. Jojo. Oh, Jojo almost killed himself. Not a jump, burning knuckle, and catches. Mashes out, but oh, catching him back here. He needs to get this stock, I think, uh, right about now. Otherwise, he's gonna have a mountain to climb. Down. Uh, Judge doesn't really have a kill option. Maybe one more back air, something. Ooh, a burning knuckle power dunk has to kill. Yeah, right here, he has to make something work. He needs to maybe a power geyser read, or might be a burning knuckle on wake up. But go there, yeah, burning knuckle on wake up. He catches it. Uh, I think the. The soccer ball there helped him uh, extend a little bit. Gets a fourth though. Cancel into the tilt. Doesn't have a jump. He needs to make it back to the stage safely. Air dodges. There you but go. down tilt being extended by the volleyball and catching the uh, Terry's recovery right there. What we were talking about earlier. That's quite unfortunate, but good job to JoJo fighting it out even with that recovery option. And CPU taking it 2 1 in winner's round two. Uh, when just hold on tight, guys. We'll be uh, right back and let you know who we'll have up next, actually. But while we wait...